This is the year 2024, and I've been trying to figure out how I want to do my panning this year. So last year, actually two years ago, I did a random eyeshadow panning project where I was getting all the different eyeshadows in my collection and then either trying to hit pan or use them 10 times. And you can see I got many pans throughout the year for that. So it worked, it worked well for that. Now I have pans in, I believe, over half of my eyeshadows now. <clears throat> so this was also me keeping track going through. But it kind of got a little bit repetitive. I also realized how many of like certain colors I had. Like I have a lot of orange apparently. It's not my favorite color to wear. Now here it starts to get a little messy, but this was when I started the deck of panning project that Emily and Max does on YouTube. And you know, I was working through, these are pretty easy because I was making my goals, stuff that I thought I could do in a month. Oh, I think this is out of order. Yes, it is. <laughs> that was my start of deck of panning. It gets a little messy when I keep this in with my makeup. Oh yeah. I think this was when I had depotted um, one of my colored rain palettes and yeah, it made a mess. So this year, I'm actually working on a few projects. So she, Emily had an option where you could continue the deck of panning into January. So I went ahead and did that. Um, I need to update because I just used some makeup today. So I am working on this Urban Decay blush, which I can't even tell you how old some of these things are. But let's see. The shade is Quiver. And so it looks red but it actually comes off quite pink on my cheeks. And I was able to get such a big dip down there because I actually mixed it with a white powder I had and was using that for a while in a compact. And then I've still been working on this and I've made good progress. So I am trying to use it 30 times. So I am at 24 uses, so you know, not bad. I was trying to hit a new pan. I got that one. I used a hair oil uh, for spray. I used a Milani lipstick because I'm trying to make use of my lipsticks this year. And, you know, this was just another one. I think, I don't think I hit pan in that one. It was in case I hit pan earlier that I was going to let myself stop sooner, but I didn't. So far, I've only hit two pans this year. But I also didn't hit very many pans last year, or as many. Uh, let's see, do I have my total? I feel like I did some, oh. Oh, that's right, last year I was also working on my Tartlet and Bloom palette a lot. Uh, yeah, actually I still had quite a few pans, but not as nearly as many as two years ago when I was doing that full eyeshadow thing. Um, oh, I'm also trying to finish eyeshadow. So here's an, my current deck of panning into February. Uh, so I'm kind of finishing up this one and doing here. So I guess I can show you this before I talk about finishing eyeshadows. So this is not a Tarte eyeshadow. It's actually from an eyeshadow palette that I took all the shades out. And I am just trying to make use of this because I wasn't sure if I actually liked it still, if it was working well. Um, it actually is working better on my eyes than it swatches. So I'm trying to use it 10 times. I've used it six. I have not used my Get Out Jail Free card because I'm at the start of the year and I don't need it. Um, for oldest, I've been trying to, so like I said, I'm trying to use up some more eyeshadows this year. So one thought I had was to try to finish this palette, uh, which is from Joseph Heller's Marvelous Moss. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. It's pretty firmly packed in there. Now, I might be able to finish like this shade or even this shade because 
you can tell there's actually, it's pretty shallow in there. Of course, go figure, that's the one I've used the least so far. But you also notice I have these, I'm gonna have them in all my palettes. And I've been trying to use every eyeshadow in my collection, other than my singles, five times this year, which is actually quite a challenge. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, um, but we'll see. And so this eyeshadow I put in to use 50 times. And I actually, I use it in my eyebrows. Um, I'll mix it or sometimes just use it on its own because I like that it's nice and cool toned. Um, and you can't tell it's super purpley really on the eyes. Um, or at least in my eyebrows. And I also like to use it as an eyeliner. So the, you know, or just to darken up things. So that was kind of why I picked it because it has a lot of uses. And it's the type though that I don't use much of at a time. So I wanted to get a lot in. Um, I also, most recent purchase is this lipstick here. I have three of this type. Um, I bought one, liked it, bought another one, liked it, <laughs> now I bought this one. So this one is a nice dark brown. I actually like using it around the edges of my lips, not just uh, to fill in. And it works well for doing a nice, more cool toned kind of outline. I don't know, it looks good with my lip color. And oh, so I wanted to use it 10 times since I just got it maybe Friday or Saturday? No, it's funny I have seven uses. Oh, I got it within like this past week or so, so I have been using it a bunch. All right, now also trying to use up some eyeshadows, I have this ColourPop Super Shock. I should have had these open before I started this. So this is the Party of Five shade, and I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. So I'm kind of trying in a way. I have 20 uses, I've done seven of those. So I don't know if in another 13 uses I could finish it. But if I get close to finishing in 13 uses, then maybe I'll take a break and then come back to trying to finish it later in the year, because that would be nice. And then Dethroned, I picked a highlighter because I don't really use highlighter anymore, except for like in my inner corners. Of course the package is broken. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow and this is in Blossom Glow. So it's still really soft and creamy and I like it in my inner corners. Sometimes I've been throwing it on my cheeks just because but I don't really care about it in that way. So I'm at 11 out of my 20 uses that I want to do for that one. So like I said I there's the Pan That palette uh, that is in one of the Facebook groups I'm in. And I've been trying to think about what palette I would do. So like I thought about this one. I also have this small palette. So it was an e.l.f. palette. And I've had it for a while. You can see I've got lots of pans showing, although not here, but they are very close. So there's some good dips in there. And I was kind of thinking maybe I could use this one up because I think it is definitely kind of getting older. The colors are not as long lasting on my lids as they used to be. Uh, so you can see I've been doing, you know, again, my keeping tally of using the shades. I have to update this too for today because I have used it today. But then I was kind of thinking about suppose I just try to use up some eyeshadows and like kind of finish off like you know six or so total for the year because I've never done that I've only ever done like a couple so I'm like what about like this one that's pretty shallow could be easy to use up maybe this like I said maybe this one I also thought though about bringing my singles in for that so here I've got a set that are both all old, but also have a lot of pan shine. They kind of like, it's like use it or lose it type of thing. So this one is from that same, where I had that teal shadow that I depotted. This was another one. And this, you can see has a little bit of like a blue purple type of iridescent to it. 
I don't remember what it's called. Uh, this one is from ColourPop. Actually, three of these are. So this is Earthshine, I believe. Yes, Earthshine. That's almost done. This one, you might recognize it, it is called Glass Bowl. So that one is also, again, almost used up. This one is from that same palette that I just depotted this one and the blue one from. And so it's just like a nice pink sparkly shade. This, I have a lot of color pop in here, don't I? Okay, because I forgot this one is also, this is Paradiso. I actually, this one still works really well and I really like it. Um, I end up throwing it in a lot of my travel palettes because I like to add purples and things like that. And it's a nice uh, kind of base to put the others on. And then here is Tea Party, or sorry, Tea Garden. And that's another one then that, you know, has a lot of hand showing. So kind of wondering if I could use all six of these up, maybe not this one, but if I was able to use these up, plus like this one and so on. And then I also have over here, this is the Emily Noel palette with Makeup Revolution. And this cream is, gosh, you can't even really tell it's in there, but it is, this This is all eyeshadow around the edges, but I could probably use that one up. Um, also trying to get my five uses per shade in here, of course, along with my other palette. So we'll see, we'll see what I'm going to be to use up this year and I will keep you posted.